Okay, let's do this example here. Um, since the y term is listed first, we know that the vertical, that the uh, transverse axis is going to be vertical. So we know that the vertices are going to lie on the y axis. So we take the number, since they're on the y axis, we're going to take the y squared term, look below it, which is 9. The square root of that number gives us the vertices. So the square root of 9 is 3, so we go 1, 2, 3. So 0, 3 is 1 vertex. And we go down by that same amount, 0, negative 3. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is graph the guide box. Okay, so the guide box is the box that we use to uh, graph the asymptotes. Okay, so these two vertices form one side of the guide box, and now we need to form this side of the guide box. So we go to the x squared term. We take the square root of the number below it, so 6. We go 6 units to the right of the center, and 6 units to the left of the center. Okay, so our guide box is going to be the box formed by these edges. Okay, so again, it's just a guide for us to get some precision when we graph our hyperbola. Okay, so then we want to plot the asymptotes. The asymptotes go from corner to corner of the guide box. Okay, so now we're ready to plot it. Here's the vertex. Here's one vertex. That was kind of bad. And then we plot the bottom half, the bottom branch. Okay, so there's our hyperbola. We still need to find the foci and the asymptotes. Okay, the foci are going to lie somewhere there and somewhere there. Okay, so the way we get the foci are by finding c squared, and c squared is the sum of a squared and b squared. So that means in this case c squared is equal to 9 plus 36. That's equal to 45, which means c is the square root of 45. And since 45 is equal to 9 times 5, the square root of 45 is 3 root 5. Okay, so the coordinates of this guy are 0, 3 root 5. And the coordinates of this guy are 0, negative 3 root 5. The last thing we need to do are... Uh, is to find the, the equations of the asymptotes. Okay, to get the equations of the asymptotes, we have y equals the square root of this, which is 3, divided by the square root of the number under x, which is 6, times x. So that's equal to 1 half x. And then this asymptote is just the negative of that, so y equals negative 1 half x. Okay, so to get the asymptotes, we always take the square root of the number under y divided by the square root of the number under x times x. Okay, why don't you repeat the last example for this hyperbola here. Press pause while you work on it. Okay, since the x squared term is listed first, we have a horizontal transverse axis. And that means that the vertices are coming from the square root of this number. So we go to the center, which is at 0, 0. We go right the square root of this, that takes us to 7, and we go left by the square root of this, which takes us to negative 7. Okay, look at the number under y squared, that's 4. The square root of that is 2, so we go to the center and go up 2 and down 2 and form the box. Okay, so there's the box, and the asymptotes are just the, the diagonals of this box.
And now we go to the vertices and graph the hyperbola. Okay, the last thing we need to do is uh, actually find the foci and then put the equations of the asymptotes. Let's go ahead and put the equations of the asymptotes first. So this is e y is equal to the square root of the number under y squared, which is 2, divided by the square root of the number under x squared, which is 7, times x. And that one there is going to be the negative. y equals negative 2 over 7 times x. Now the foci are located somewhere around here. To get the foci, we find c squared, which is equal to a squared plus b squared, and that's 53, which means c is equal to the square root of 53. So this focus here is at root 53 comma 0. This focus here is negative root 53 comma 0. Okay, so that's the way hyperbolas work.